Members of the public as well as members of parliament have expressed shock today over news that several public servants are embroiled in an investigation into an online prostitution ring. They include a former police officer and a former principal. Those we spoke to say public servants have a moral authority to uphold, especially if they hold senior positions or work closely with minors. Hot on the heels of a recent corruption probe involving two senior civil servants, public service officers are again in the spotlight, this time over suspected involvement with an online prostitution ring. Public reaction has been one of dismay, especially over news that an ex-principal may be involved. I, I recognise the fact that the, this may be his personal life. So, you know, what he does uh, outside school is really something between him and, and um, his family. But uh, nevertheless, I think the fact is that he he's leading a group of teachers who are expected to be uh, examples, uh, good examples, good models for our students. And so it, I think it will be difficult for, for the teachers to look up to him as a leader if uh, morally... There, there are perceived to be flaws in his uh, character. The principal, who's said to be 39 years old and married, resigned unexpectedly in December. It's believed that teachers at the popular primary school were informed of his resignation, but were not told the reason for his departure. One teacher who works at the school in question said the principal was very well liked by teachers and students, and most were crushed when they found out about the news. Some Singaporeans we spoke to felt civil servants have to maintain a high standard of conduct. As public servants, I think they have a, a right image to show uh, because uh, many people look up to them. I think it's morally unright and uh, these public servants should be sacked on the spot. Uh, they make lousy role models uh, uh, for children of our generation. Depending on what position they are holding, if let's say they are in the education ministry or if there are some high senior uh, MPs or ministers, then I think it's not appropriate. The more you are, I think the leadership qualities that we are looking for are quite good. Responding to queries from Channel News Asia, Government Parliamentary Committee Chairman for Law and Home Affairs Hari Kumar said civil servants should be expected to uphold the reputation and integrity of the civil service and do nothing to undermine public confidence. In 2010, the Public Service Commission disciplined five officers for inappropriate or immoral behaviour. According to PSC's annual report for the past five years, immoral or inappropriate behaviour was among the top three reasons for disciplinary action.